Today, I'm gonna give you 11 tips that will increase your survival rating as quickly as I can. Number one, hotkey your meds. The most important meds to hotkey is a heavy bleed stopper, such as any tourniquet or a Calac B, and painkillers. Everything else can go in your secured container because the only time you should use them is if you are safe and you have time to properly heal. Tip number two is to save some stamina. Once you sprint and drain your whole stamina bar, you are left very vulnerable. Your arms are shaking, making it hard to line up a shot, and you can no longer run if someone does surprise ambush you. Chances are, when you're sprinting, if someone does see you, they're gonna wait for you to stop. And if you end up stopping without any stamina left, it is very unlikely that you will win the aim duel. Tip number three, silently check your fire mode. Pressing Control B will silently check your fire mode without changing it. So stop changing it and then changing it back just to check which fire mode you're on. Tip number four is the silent walk. Tarkov is a game of tactical advantages. Oftentimes, if you hear someone first, you can get the advantage immediately by going quiet and silent walking. By default, you can press caps lock and it'll immediately make you as quiet as possible, or you can scroll wheel down or up to change it variably. Tip number five is to know your ammo. Before you get into raid, you should know if your ammo is good pen, good damage, or somewhere in the middle, so you can place your shots more effectively. All bullets are good, some just take more accuracy and skill. Tip number six is gonna be to check your mags. After engaging in a fight, whether it be a scav, player, or something in between, you should check your mag by using Alt-T by default. Whenever you move to a safer position, then refill those mags for the next fight. A more advanced way to know how many bullets you have left is something I learned from Airwing Marine. If you aren't using tracers, you can bottom load into your mags a few tracers like M856 for 556 or T rounds for 545, green tracer from 9x19, etc. That way, when you're fighting, you're gonna see a few tracer rounds go out and you're gonna know you need to change your mag ASAP because you only have like two or three bullets left. Number seven is to repair your guns. If your guns are over 93% durability, they cannot malfunction, but keeping them max durability will make malfunctions so rare, you almost never encounter them. When you do encounter a malfunction, you need to know your keybinds. By default, you have to inspect the malfunction by pressing L and fix it by pressing Shift T. If you are in the middle of a gunfight, switch to a different weapon if possible. Tip number eight is gonna be wear a helmet. You will see chats on their streams or out in the wild wearing no helmet and some hat or mask looking drips the fuck out, but just know it's not a good idea. Oftentimes they're gonna say something along the lines of, I'm just gonna get head eyes anyway, so there's no point, but that's straight bullshit. Yeah, of course, sometimes you are gonna get one tapped in the eyes, but the amount of clips I have where my crappy penis helmet saves me is wild. I can make a whole POV, me getting headshot montage. Hell, I've already made two short videos about me wearing helmets that saved me. Tip number nine is gonna be to play with other people. This is a much more generic tip, but I just can't leave this one out. Tarkov is very unforgiving and it can really kill your mood quickly. So I highly recommend only playing when you have friends on. You can learn new things together and oftentimes learn stuff that you would have never found out by yourself just by playing with other people. If you don't have a squad already, I'm gonna link an LFG Discord in the description below. So tip number 10 is gonna be to take your time. Another fairly common tip you're gonna hear is to just take your time. Don't rush through the map running through all the hot spots. Chances are, if you try and speed run through the map getting all your task items, you're gonna end up spending the same or even more time doing your tasks as if you just went really slow and spent the entire raid to get two to four tasks done. I can't tell you how many times I try to rush through shoreline going to pier, resort, and cottages just to die while I'm out in the open because I'm rushing around. On the opposite end of this, this wipe, I had a shoreline raid where I went extra slow, brought food, charted a map out before of where I needed to go, and I ended out getting, I kid you not, nine tasks done in a single shoreline raid. And for the last tip, it's gonna be to know your keybinds. You should know and change your keybinds to be more comfortable and suited for you. Personally, I changed my VoIP key to V, used to be melee, and I changed my melee to zero. Also, I changed my change scope magnification to caps lock instead of default so that I can stay scoped in while I change my zoom. Now Tarkov, it has a super adjustable keybinds so you can get the same key for multiple things. Like uh, for example, if you tap O, it's gonna show you the time, but if you double tap O, it's gonna show you time and all your extracts. So use that to your advantage. Advantage. Thanks for watching the entire video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more no bullshit guides. Check out my guide on early game barters if you want to save some rubles. See ya.